Well, welcome to a fine, soft, pleasant evening here out in West Texas. This is Rob, of course. I'm going to show you all something I'm working on. The sunset was really pretty tonight. You know, you already know we get a lot of really cool sunsets out here. And uh, tonight's was pretty cool, too. But outside is not where I was wanting to show you so much as inside. Let's go inside here. I happen to be out here, not at my place, but near my place at the uh, 2RP Dart Lounge and Cigar Lounge and Speakeasy. Well, I don't even know what we call it anymore. The name has changed a few times, but I want to show you a project I'm working on. Let me just kind of give you a quick overview. Right now we got a mess going in here because we decided to do a little rearranging, move the dartboard, move a couple other things. We have the dartboard over here, but it just wasn't as convenient as it needs to be. And so we decided to move it across over here. Now you can see what we kind of had there, sort of disassembling that. But that's kind of what I wanted to show you that I'm working on. It's a work in progress, just getting started on it. We're doing a little decoration. I've been saving these six-pack holders for years, literally years and years and years. Now, I didn't drink all these, just so you don't think, oh, Rob's got a problem. No, I, in fact, I drank almost none of that right down there. I may have had a couple though, but I have been saving these things for a long time for this very purpose. I saw this done back when I was living in Colorado, a guy did it, and then since then my little brother has done one like it, and it's pretty cool when it's all said and done. But basically, and I'll set up here in a second and I'll show you, basically you come in here and you just lay the six pack holders on as if you were shingling a roof. If I can get over where I can show you. They just kind of tuck right in there like that. And you can do it in different ways. Some people do it where they're overlap like that. And you can see the top and bottom and everything. I'm tending right now to just want to layer them in there. So you just see the main basic part right there. And then I'll come in and staple it in place. Get it set up just right. We're going to try to do red ones, blue ones, silver ones. And make us a big old Texas flag right down here on the bottom of it. But I wanted to get this part done first. Anyway, like I say, that's just to give you an idea of what we're doing. Um, you know, dark lounge, cigar lounge, there's the cigars in there. It, things get dusty out here in case you didn't already know that. And we call it the speakeasy because there's some other good stuff in here too. You know, we've got, in fact, we've got quite a bit of pretty good stuff in here. We were worried that people would think we have a problem, but people that are in the know realize that it's kind of a hobby of ours and that we don't kill all that in big quantities. Anyway, though, um, we'll be back. I'm not even going to show you me because I'm probably you know, here. No, I'm not. You've seen me before. You know what I look like. But I'll be back with progress. Moving along, making progress.
All right, I got to cut that one. Cut me, Nick. Got a light switch here, so I got to provide for that. All right, that's very nice. Uh, I like it. I like it. I, I like it. All right, and so this is two or three days later now. <clears throat> I brought that rock and cherry in from the motel. Figured it would go nicely in here. Good to sit in front of the wood stove with. Our speakeasy, Darton Cigar Lounge, is coming along nicely. And it looks like we're raging alcoholics, but we're really not. We, we sip occasionally. But <laughs> this is a long time thing we'd be doing. But the real reason we're here is I think I'm done. Well, most I'm done with that part. I got the flag part done. Now, it's not still quite exactly how I wanted. That's not what I had in mind for the star. But I hadn't figured out what I'm going to do for the star yet, so I'll figure that out. For now, though, that makes the point, as it were. But, anyway, that, I just figured since I told you what I was going to do, I'd show you what I did. So you knew I wasn't kidding, and I got that much done. So it's uh, turning into a party house or a relaxation location. Hey, relaxation location, how's that sound? So anyway, that's the end of that. Like I said, I just wanted to share what I was doing. It was fun to do. And uh, I'll probably uh, kind of finish decorating that wall a little bit. Maybe even do something back over in that corner there. I don't know. You know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll just see. This isn't my garage after all, so I can't get too carried away. But uh, there we are. Um, let me know your thoughts. If you got some ideas that might make it better, especially if you got an idea for what I should do for the star, I'll entertain ideas. We're... We're on the lookout for something that'll work right. You know, the Texas flag is supposed to have a good prominent white star there. Um, anyway, we'll see. So, there you go. 